This is the Mutz trailer. Uh, this is built in Canada. I received it uh, maybe a month ago, approximately. It's taken me a while to get this video put together. Um, I had to assemble it, and you'll see a video on, on that. This is just the introduction video, so I'll keep this short and sweet. But this is a, a phenomenal trailer to hook to your ATV. Um, it's actually quite large. It's seven feet long from end to end. Or excuse me, 72 inches long or six feet long. Uh, so very it's actually quite large I don't know if we can come over here so you can see it with the, with the four-wheeler but uh, that's a Honda Foreman 450 um, and so it's a good sized trailer it has a little trailer hitch on the back it's pretty cool um, so let's go over a few other features real quick it has bogey axles so that means that they, they can pivot like this, and that allows the trailer to ride smoothly across rough ground. It doesn't really bounce at all, like a lot of your small dump trailers you might get at Sears or something like that. Runs really well. It has those large tires. You can see they're, they're basically the same diameter as the tires on the Foreman, um, and they're very wide. They're high flotation. Uh, of course, its most unique feature, here comes the wind, of course its most unique feature is the uh, pole, that boom pole there, and that actually picks up the bed with this winch, and that works exceptionally well. Uh, you don't really need any kind of powered device on there, it's just a simple hand winch. Really provides a lot of uh, lifting power with very little effort. Um, you can remove the gates from either end. I'm just going to take this one out. There we go. I got it out. It's a little bit tricky to do it with a uh, with one hand. Um, as you can see, then that comes out like that, and that allows the load. You can haul a very long load in there. You can take the other gate out, then you can put long uh, timbers or, or boards or whatever you needed to haul something that was longer longer than the uh, trailer so that works really well uh, the way it's built has this nice bracing system so these walls are very very solid this is a very solid trailer um, I'm very impressed with the, the quality of construction well let's see what else can we talk about notice that the bed is kind of a two-step and that allows most of the weight to be held down low down low near the the axles so that allows it to be very stable when you go over a hill it'll keep that center of gravity in the in the correct location and it won't let the trailer tip over like a lot of the other type uh, garden trailers you might have, have used so um, pretty impressive has a empty weight of around 450 pounds and uh, can haul probably close to I think the specs say maybe even up to 3,000 pounds, uh, definitely 2,000 pounds, but here's the deal, it all depends on your four-wheeler or what you're pulling with it, so do not overload your four-wheeler. The four-wheeler might be able to pull it, but going down hills or in rough terrain, the trailer may start pushing the four-wheeler and cause you to flip over, so that's not a, that's not going to be a good situation. So uh, work your way up, if you buy one of these, load it light first get used to driving it and then uh, load it heavier. I also have a UTV that I could pull pull it with and um, I may try that later. Notice the jack it uses. So you just have a, a bolt there that has been bent and you rotate that, lowers the, the jack down. The tongue weight's only about 30 pounds because of the way the, the uh, center gravity is set up on the, on the uh, bed. So that's really, uh, really a good system too. One other feature that's really unique is you can remove this pulley from the top and place it down here into the uh, mass for the for the winch. And what that does is then you run your, your pulley rope down through there and out to the front. And so that allows you to winch out the trailer. Let's see my finger, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> we're gonna winch out the trailer from a ditch or out of the mud. Uh, that's if you had it heavily loaded and your four-wheeler got stuck and couldn't move it, then you would unhook the four-wheeler, run the rope down and out using the four-wheeler as an anchor point, 
and pull the the trailer on out of the mud or, or a ditch so that's really a cool feature as well so anyway that's the first look at the mutts trailer i'll make some more videos featuring it if you have any questions about it feel free to ask i am maybe the only person other than mutts trailers that has videos of it on youtube and uh, so i want to make sure i share that with everyone because it is definitely a unique trailer the only thing i can say about it one maybe negative thing is this tongue is quite long to allow for this uh, mast lifting system so it makes it kind of a long outfit you can see how long it is there with the with the four-wheeler um, so other than that I, I really like it um, and that's really not a huge disadvantage it maneuvers just fine through the woods as you saw there in the intro video so that's it for now thanks for watching project king videos and we'll keep cranking them out as we have time until next time see ya